Hello guys, it's me King Mamzy and in today's video I'm going to be discussing and speculating about the new Jojo event which is going to be happening next year in April and was leaked through a brand new Jojo website not too long ago which is now officially closed to the public and can only be accessed by certain people who most likely work for David Productions or the Japanese Warner Bros who own the rights to the Jojo Bizarre Adventure property. Now I have a lot of hopes and predictions regarding this event not only for the possibility of new animated content but also the possibility of new games and other possible announcements so without any further ado guys let's get right into it. Now first off let's talk about the possibility of a part 6 Stone Ocean anime announcement which is very likely to happen as it never was really a question of if it was going to happen but more so just a question of when we all knew that part 6 was going to happen after the amazing success of part 5 both in and outside of Japan not to mention that for the past week or so now we've gotten multiple sources and leaks that have pretty much suggested that we're definitely getting new Jojo anime related content from David Productions in the future now some may argue that this could be a Purple Haze feedback OVA instead of part 6 and to be honest that is a fair point to make but honestly guys Purple Haze feedback realistically does not have a bad chance of getting animated over part 6 let's be real it's a side story about Fugo which takes place straight after the events of the original part 5 story within a light novel that Araki himself didn't even write. Now does that mean that we might never ever get a Purple Haze feedback OVA like the Rohan side stories did? Of course not, it's still likely to happen especially since the Japanese Warner Bros producers have said that they might even consider doing it if David Productions and Araki would be open to the idea of it so the possibility of a Purple Haze feedback OVA is still possible in fact I'm really hoping that we get this because I really want Fugo's story to have proper closure but in an animated format he was originally supposed to be a good guy turned villain due to Diavolo in the second half of the part 5 story but Araki ended up scrapping the idea due to personal mental issues that he was dealing with at the time which is why Purple Haze feedback exists in the first place but do I honestly predict that we'll get an announcement of it getting animated in next year's event? To be honest not really it just seems very unlikely to me at the moment especially since we're in the middle of a global pandemic and whatnot but I really do hope I end up being wrong. Now as for the possibility of new games being announced it's not unlikely since they have done this before like at the official 2012 Jojo event where they announced both the first official season of the Jojo anime and the Jojo all star battle game for the PlayStation 3 so I'm willing to bet that they'll announce either a brand new Jojo game exclusively for the PlayStation 5 since it's coming out this holiday season so it's not unlikely especially since the last Jojo game was only on PS4 and the one before that was only on PS3 or they could finally end up localizing the Jojo's Last Survivor Battle Royale game instead for both current and next gen consoles and even PC worldwide since the game's been out for almost what a year now. Personally I wouldn't mind having either one since having both would be very unlikely because there's no way they're gonna give us a exclusive PS5 Jojo game and have the Battle Royale game be localized like it's, it's gonna be one or the other realistically. But if I had to choose one then I would definitely prefer the PS5 exclusive but instead of it being made by CC2 I would much rather Arc System Works make it instead. They've already proven that they're very capable of making both great 2D fighters 
and great 3D arena fighters in the past, so I would definitely be very excited and optimistic for a new JoJo game being made by them whether it's 2D or 3D. Now regarding what other types of gaming related announcements they could give us at this event, they could announce a brand new JoJo mobile game, hopefully not just for the Japanese audience though, and also we might end up having the next JoJo DLC character for Jump Force be announced at the event as well, with a small gameplay trailer just like what Bandai did for Hiei at the Tokyo Game Show event not too long ago. It would be a great business decision as it would pave the way to bring in new Jump Force players who are big JoJo fans that have probably never even heard of Jump Force before and bump the sales of the game even further especially since now that it's officially on the Nintendo Switch. Now as for what other possible reveals they might have in store for us, possibly new merchandise such as clothing and toys for example. Now I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below if you're excited cause personally I'm very excited and I just know that we're finally gonna get part 6 to be announced at the event with hopefully a couple couple gaming related announcements as well but overall though the part 6 manga was absolutely amazing and I defo can't wait to see it get animated in the future. Also can't wait to finally see all my part 6 girls and boys get animated too and the fights as well those are gonna go off and especially can't wait to see my guy Enrico Pucci in action as well like the other main villains before him were all top tier in it but honestly though Pucci just blows them all out of the wall like to me he's the second best main villain in the series behind funny valentine like i seriously can't wait to see peachy in action when part 6 gets animated trust me man everyone's gonna be repping peachy when the anime comes out but anyway guys i'm gonna end the video there be sure to let me know what you think will be announced at next year's jojo event and also definitely let me know what you guys think of this video and if you enjoyed it then definitely leave a like on it and subscribe if you are new to the channel this is your boy king mamsie signing out take care and peace